January is Thyroid Awareness Month, so here to discuss some of the various health problems connected to the thyroid and symptoms of thyroid disease is Dr. Ruchi Gaba with Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, you know, thyroid disease can affect millions of people, but how prevalent is it among women in particular? So it's, it's extremely common in women, around five to eight times more common as compared to men. And, uh, you know, the incidence increases with age, so much calmer in older women, though it can present uh, um, during or after pregnancy, so in young women. And explain what your thyroid does, like why is its function so essential? So the thyroid hormone uh, is a hormone for energy, for metabolism in the body. It helps regulate the temperature. Uh, it helps regulate your heart rate. So it's a very important metabolic hormone. And if it's underactive or overactive, it causes issues in metabolism and, and causes a, a, a variety of symptoms. Well, what is thyroid disease or thyroid disorder? And I guess, what are the different types that are out there? Right, so thyroid disease just refers to, you know, disorders that could happen due to the gland function itself. Uh, the two most common ones are hypothyroidism, which is an underactive gland where, you know, there's deficiency of thyroid hormone. And there's hyperthyroidism, which is an overactive gland. Uh, that is, there's excess of thyroid hormone on board. And uh, both can cause symptoms, like I said, with hypothyroidism, um, it's the slowing down of the metabolism. So you can have symptoms like um, weight gain, feeling cold, constipation, uh, muscle aches. And in pregnant women, if it's undiagnosed, it can even lead to uh, miscarriage, an increased risk of miscarriage, preterm delivery, um, or uh, developmental issues in their, in, their, in their baby or the fetus. On the other hand, you know, hyperthyroidism, which is an overactive gland, can lead to pumping up of the metabolism. So you will, uh, despite having a good appetite, you're losing weight. Uh, you're feeling like your heart is racing fast. You're not able to sleep at night. Um, you can have uh, some eye symptoms whereby, you know, there's something called Graves disease, which is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. And in those uh, patients, you can have, you know, the eyes can bulge. Uh, you can have a swelling in the lower part of the neck, which is called goiter. Uh, so just, just a couple of these symptoms, yes. Well, what should you do if you notice a lump or any other symptom? Uh, you know, some people may not think it's a big deal, but what should they do immediately? Right, and that, that's exactly what we're trying to do with this interview here, the Thyroid Awareness Month, right? So we want people to be aware that uh, the, spe the symptoms of thyroid disease are non-specific and a little weak. So they have to pay special attention to these unusual ailments that they might have, or if they notice a lump or a swelling in the lower part of the neck. So the most important thing, thing you know, is to recognize it and then to talk to your doctor. And if there is a lump in the neck, uh, then most likely uh, you have to undergo a procedure which is called a fine needle aspiration or an FNA, whereby we, we distinguish between infection or cancer in that, uh, in that little growth or nodule. I'm just wondering, is there anything you can do to prevent thyroid disease? So there is nothing in particular that you could do to prevent the disease as such, but the key lies in early detection. And, and that's why the thyroid awareness uh, becomes even more important. Well, what are all the treatments that are available for people who would like to know? So in terms of treatment uh, for low thyroid levels, you know, there's deficiency of thyroid hormone. So most likely your doctor will prescribe you um, the thyroid hormone replacement, which is in the form of an oral pill uh, to sort of compensate for that deficiency. Uh, for hyperthyroidism, on the other hand, there are certain anti-thyroid medications that can be used. Uh, there's something called radioactive iodine uh, or eventually surgery uh, would be some of the treatment modalities. But, you know, coming back to your previous question about uh, prevention and early detection, I think an important thing to keep in mind is that you have to think about the disease, approach your physician, and then also sort of think about the risk factors. So if you have a family history of thyroid disease, then be, then be careful and pay attention to your symptoms. Or if there are certain risk factors for thyroid disease, you should always um, keep that in mind. All right, Dr. Rucci, thank you so much for this helpful information. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.